Hi, I'm Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life. In February of 2011, Dr. Bernard Nathanson, one of the founders of the abortion rights movement, who then later became an ardent pro-life activist and a Catholic, passed away. I was privileged to know him and to interview him, and I want to show you a clip from a 1999 interview in which he summarizes the fact, as he said on other occasions, that he and his colleagues in starting the abortion movement would not have gotten away with what they did if we, the clergy and the church, had been united, purposeful, and strong. Listen to what Dr. Nathanson says. In the late 60s, when we organized NARAL, the National Abortion Rights Action League, uh, most of our activity and our activism were predicated or premised on the fact, which we knew, that the clergy was not vigilant, was virtually sleeping, not literally, but figuratively sleeping on this subject, that they could not envision such a revolution, a social revolution, as uh, legalizing abortion. Now, we took great advantage of that. We made capital of that because uh, once the clergy were caught napping uh, and we moved ahead of them, then by the time the clergy, principally the Catholic clergy, woke up to the fact that we were miles ahead of them, it was Roe v. Wade time, and suddenly abortion was legal. We invite you to spread the message of Dr. Nathanson. Check our website for more details about him and his writings, and let's follow his example by working to see that the church no longer gets caught asleep about the culture of death. God bless you.